ang akma pala si Teacher Rana. At ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano kunin ang inverse of function in a short method. What is an inverse function? It is a function that serves to undo another function. Let us try to get the inverse of this example. f of x is equal to 3x minus 10. So using the long method, let us compute for the inverse of function. We have here a function y is equal to 3x minus 10. Let us interchange y and x. We have here x is equal to 3y minus 10. And let us transpose negative 10 on the left side. x plus 10 is equal to 3y. And to get for the value of y, let us divide both sides by 3. y is equal to x plus 10 over 3. So this is the inverse for the long method. Now for the short method, we were, go now for the short method, we were going to use this formula. y raised to negative 1 as the symbol for inverse function is equal to x minus b over a, wherein a and b are the numerical coefficient in a given function. Here, in a given, a is equal to b, and b is equal to negative 10. Now, let us substitute those values in a given formula. We have here y raised to negative 1 is equal to x minus negative 10 over 3. Inverse of function is equal to x plus 10 over 3. So, as you can see, they are the same. Okay, so let us now get the inverse if the function is in the square root. Okay? So using the long method, let us compute for the inverse function. We have here y is equal to square root of 9x plus 5. To change, we have x is equal to square root of 9y plus 5. In order to eliminate the square root, we have to simply square on both sides. We have now x squared is equal to 9y plus 5. Then transpose 5 on the left side. It will be x squared minus 5 is equal to 9y. And then divide it both by 9. Our inverse is the inverse of y is equal to x squared minus 5 over 9. Let us use the short method in order to get the inverse. Again, we have here the inverse of y is equal to x squared minus b over a. Again, a and b are the numerical coefficients. So we have here a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 5. Let us now substitute the given values in the formula the inverse of y is equal to x squared minus 5 over 9. So you can see they have the same inverse. Now we have here a rational function. Let us get the inverse of this rational function. For the long method, we have where y is equal to px minus 4 all over x plus 1. Interchange, we have x is equal to 3y minus 4 all over y plus 1. Then, we have to use the cross multiplication. We have x times y plus 1 is equal to 3y minus 4. Then using this negative property, let us evaluate the expression on the left side. So we have here x, y plus x is equal to 3, 1, minus 4. Now, let us combine the, the like terms, meaning they have the same variable. So we have here x, y, and then the 3, y will be transposed on the left side. So we have minus 3, y is equal to negative 4, and x will be transposed on the right side. We have now negative x. And then let us separate the y variable. So we have here y times the quantity of x minus 3 is equal to negative 4, negative x. And divided by x minus 3 on both sides. So y is equal to negative 4 minus x over x minus 3. Now that is the inverse function. For the function we have here, y is equal to ax plus b all over cx plus b. In the short method, we are going to use the formula. The inverse of y is equal to negative bx plus b over cx minus a. So as you can see here in the original uh, function, the a and b were interchanged and the sign become negative. So again, a, b, c, b are numerical coefficients. So we have here the a is equal to 3, the b is equal to negative 4, c is equal to 1, and b is equal to 1. So using these uh, values, let us substitute all the given values in the formula. So we have now the inverse of y is equal to negative 1, x, which is negative x. Then we have a plus b, which is our b is negative 4, so minus 4 over cx is 1, so we have x, and then minus, we have the a is positive 3. Okay, so as you can see here, they have the same inverse. I hope na nakatulong sa inyo ang aking video. Maraming